Bro Jack here back for another Minecraft video, and you probably noticed that I'm not actually in Minecraft. I mean, I opened up Minecraft, but I'm not actually in game, I, I guess. So, yeah, I, I mean, you've probably noticed that. And by the title of this video, you know that this is the Biomes O Plenty mod. But before I get into that, make sure to go pound that like button if you're enjoying these mod showcases. I'm really starting to get excited about these 1.9 mods coming out, and I'm really excited to also be reviewing them. So please feel free to go leave your support down in the like section. Just go like it up down there and also leave a comment if you do have any mod suggestions as well. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the Biomes of Plenty mod. So you'll notice that in the background, it's actually changed up a little bit. It looks nicer and it's actually featuring some of the different biomes that this mod adds. It adds over like 50 biomes, it says, but I'm pretty sure it's closer to 100. It might even be more than 100 different biomes that this adds. It also adds a whole bunch of new items. But yeah, I'll tell you guys about that a little bit later. So the first thing you're gonna do is hit single player. Go to create new world. You're gonna have to actually create a new world for this. We're just gonna call this test biome O plenty. Uh, I'm gonna put this one in, actually it doesn't really matter because I already have a previous world that I'm gonna generate up. But yeah, you're gonna do survival mode if you wanna try and survive in this world. You're gonna go to world type. This is the most important part. You're gonna hit this one, two, three, four, five times on 1.9. And then uh, you can also customize it for your liking, so you can affect the biome size, land mass, a couple other different stuff. We have a, uh, some more pages of it, so you can affect what actually spawns in. These are all like the custom stuff, like nether highs, flax, thorns, berry bushes. So this is all the custom items that this adds in, and there's also a bunch of custom blocks. You can set it back to default if you want. But yeah, if you just want the regular stuff, just put it on biomes, oh plenty, hit done, and then hit create new world. But I already generated a nice 1.9 biomes, oh plenty world, so we're gonna load this one up because it does take a little bit longer to load if you do it in regular you know if it's your first time loading it up but previously i've loaded this one up and as you can see we're in one of the dimensions already i believe this is a uh, bog okay so yeah <laughs> let's just check out kind of our surroundings right now so this is bog as you can see it adds in what appears to be some new blocks let's see what this is this is loamy grass so yeah you have a whole bunch of new uh terrain blocks that add into your world you also have a whole bunch of new plant life uh, there are a few new mobs and just a load of new items but the main ploy of this mod is to add in a crap ton of biomes so yeah this is bog i'm just gonna walk around you know actually fly around this general area and just show you guys some different stuff uh what's this one this one is a taiga so i think this is actually regular minecraft but there are some other things uh if we go over here oh yeah this one looks good what are we we're back in the land of lakes whoa look at that so it's kind of like a swamp biome but it, everything just looks so so cool i actually have some cinematics of uh, some of my favorite biomes from this mod but there are over 50 it says but i'm, I'm like 99 percent sure it's close to 100 so yeah there are so many different biomes but i made a little cinematic of all of my favorite ones and then after that is done playing i'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite items from this mod and i'm also gonna leave some stuff up to you to check it out for yourselves because it's an, an amazing mod and i would like to use it in future videos if you would like that i would make a little mod showcase world in here and then i would have all these different biomes to check out but yeah guys without further ado here is a cinematic of a bunch of the different biomes. I really hope that you enjoy, sit back, and relax. Here it goes.
So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that little cinematic that just happened right there. I spent a lot of time just kind of finding the different biomes and the one that I specifically liked. I really liked the underwater one. That is actually my favorite. And that also leads to the question of the day. What is your favorite biome from the Biomes of Plenty mod? If you know the mod well, because it's been out for some time, uh, you can tell me whatever your favorite biome is. Or if you don't know any of the biomes, just pick from the list of the ones that I did in the cinematic. That would be super duper amazing. Make sure to go leave it in the comment section down below. But anyway, yeah, mine was the underwater coral reef. I thought that looks super amazing because it's all lit up under the water. And there's really no plant life in regular vanilla Minecraft. So it's nice to see the uh, nice coral reef down there. But yeah, anyway, this leads into kind of the second part of the mod, which is just I'm going to show you guys some uh, different mobs and stuff that are a part of this. If I go into the creative menu here, you can see that there are just a whole bunch of terrain blocks added. And there's also a whole bunch of ores. And then with these new ores, you can actually make some brand new tools for this. You can also make a ton of different different doors so i mean there's too much really to showcase in this mod that's why i just want to showcase to you guys my favorite part you can also get saplings from all the different trees a bunch of different seeds there's just literally so many different things to showcase uh here are all the actual ores that spawn in down below and also here are their respectable items that you can craft from this so you see we have like a muddy pickaxe we have an amethyst sword we have a scythe so yeah there's just a lot of different things that you can do i can actually show you guys some crafting recipes with another mod called the guidebook so if i get like an amethyst sword out here or let's do a scythe so you'll see to craft the scythe you can actually use iron ingots and ender amethyst now i have no idea where to find that there's a whole wiki dedicated to this mod so you can be sure to check that out uh, i can also showcase the guidebook in a separate mod video if you would like me to as well but yeah let's just showcase uh, this first thing right here i really thought this was neat it's a pixie jar and uh when you spawn it in it actually just flies around it's a little jar uh the textures and everything are a little bit buggish because this is 1.9 and literally 1.9 uh, mods are recently coming out. I'm surprised that Biomes of Plenty actually got the update in. But yeah, uh, we also have a dart blower, which shoots out darts. As you can see, I have uh, some darts right here. Well, oh god, I thought the cat was coming at me. Look at that. Oh god, I think it only does one damage. It's looking like, yeah, just, oh, maybe like two. I don't know. It's like a surefire shot. Uh, let's try this in game mode zero real fast. Game mode zero. All right, so we have one dart. Oh god, it just literally shoots right out. Wow, can I go click that? No, I actually can't. Wow, that, that shot fast. Holy crap. But yeah, that's the uh, the dark gun for you. I'm going to get in creative mode because I don't know about these mods. We have a wasp right here, so be careful of these bad boys. Yeah, they're a lot bigger than regular wasps. You can find these, I believe, near hives. Uh, we also have pixies. I have no idea where these spawn in. I think that's the same thing as a pixie jar. I think that, yeah, the texture is like a little bit broken for that, but I'm sure it'll be fixed in a future update. We have a nice little snail right here. These things spawn. I think I've seen them in swamps and forests. So yeah, these things are nice. They move very, very slow. And then we also have butterflies, which will spawn throughout like plains biomes and stuff like that. They also have different colored textures. And yeah, that is the gist of my favorite items from the mod. But as you saw, there's so much more to this that I cannot possibly showcase. It would be a long video if I showcase all of this. But anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, the main part of this was that cinematic. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed that as well. If you did, please leave a like down below. That took a bunch of time. And I also used a, a pretty cool mod for that that works with 1.9 to get some nice cinematic views. So I might do a showcase on that as well. I really don't know. There's a lot of 1.9 mods coming out. So yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, please feel free to go leave them in the comment section as well. But yeah, guys, that is really it. My name is Beckbrojack, and I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye.